It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Payne. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview Caleb Cross, Crosshead from Greenwood School. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to play football in high school and move on to the college level? From a young age, just playing, um, always having fun. I just found joy and was, like, really good at it uh, from the beginning. So that's when I knew that this is my thing. Can you talk about playing at Greenwood football? Yeah, so uh, I was at Southwest for three years, and I just transferred to Grimsley for my senior year. So um, just hoping for better and bigger things, um, you know, hopefully get that ring this uh, last year. So, What do you look to accomplish at your new school? That uh, The ring, like I said, and then just having a better season in general, um, building on top of what I had for my junior year, so. Can you talk about the recruitment process and how it was like for you? I'm not even going to lie. It was a little bit stressful, um, but it's also very good uh, just to get the exposure and just listening to different colleges uh, talk to you. It's like really a blessing. So, yeah. What are some things that you've accomplished during the recruitment process? Um, Just since we haven't been doing workouts or anything, just doing what I can to help myself get better. So I know um, if we don't have a season or whatever, I'll be able to go on to um, college and do my thing. So, What have you accomplished in your football career so far? I think the biggest step was getting that first scholarship and then they're building on getting more so I can – I know I can play at that next level. So that really helps. Can you talk about – receiving offers and posters from these schools and what that experience is like? It's a nice experience. Um, just having people talk to you, be in your corner, and uh, know that you're really going to go to the next level and possibly make it to the NFL or do whatever you want to do after that. What are some schools that are looking at you and that have offered you already? Elon, Richmond, JMU, um, William and Mary. Um, it's a lot. It's like eleven. I can't remember off the top of my head. So, can you talk about getting recruited as a DB and a wide receiver, a multi athlete? Yeah. Um, just and uh, it's truly a blessing to be able to like play both sides because not everyone can do that, especially going into college. So it's really a blessing. Can you talk about going on these official visits and how it was like trying on these jerseys, knowing if this is going to be the school that you're going to pick for the next four years? It's good. Um, COVID has missed it up a little bit. Um, just more phone calls and stuff, and just doing like stuff on my own, like my own research. So I just have to uh, keep up to date with what I can do since COVID kind of messing that up. Have you been in more Zoom calls with these coaches, figuring out if they're the best fit for you? Yes, sir. Definitely a lot of Zoom calls, FaceTime calls, all that type of stuff. Can you talk about how it's changed due to COVID, not being able to visit the school that you might think that is the best fit for you? I feel like it makes it a little bit harder because, you know, you can't get on campus. You can't see how the people are, how the buildings are. I mean, you can see the outside, but that's pretty much it. Um, you can't get on the field, can't do as much. So it, it's a little bit more research and like what you see online and what you hear than what you can go look in person. So, What do you look to accomplish in your senior year? I think just focus on having a good year and not so much as the college stuff. I uh, just want to, since I'm transferring, have a better year and do what I can to lead my new teammates. Have you participated in any um, football camps with these colleges? 
I haven't. I went to one pro day, and I haven't went to any camp. So. Can you talk about the experience going to the one pro day and how that was like? It was good. Um, getting to see William and Mary practice, that was actually my first offer. And um, I went with my quarterback, Lonzo Barnett. It was a good experience. So, What do you want to accomplish as the recruitment process comes to where it, to an end soon? Um, just once I choose that one school, make sure that I'm like focused on just that and they're focused on just me. Um, and uh, having a good experience and building a relationship with the coaches. Do you have a top three schools right now? I kind of really don't. It's just, it's a lot right now, especially uh, not being able to go on a visit. So it's a little hard to uh, give that up right now. What advice would you give upcoming high school athletes looking to get recruited to the next level? Definitely keep working and pushing, um, especially with this COVID stuff going on. Just do what you can to um, make yourself better. Like, behind the clothes. Or you get back and like leave your teammates. What advice would you give? What advice would you give high school athletes? Keep working as far as academic. What advice would you give high school athletes looking to get recruited to the next level? Make sure you're sending film out, um, trying to build relationships with co coaches, um, going to camp when COVID clears up, just doing what you can because some coaches won't always reach out. You have to go reach out instead, uh, especially make a Twitter. That's where a lot of coaches are at now. So. Can you talk about the experience reaching out to coaches on Twitter? It can be a little bit hard, um, a little bit stressful because you're just sending out stuff and some don't reply. So you just got to be patient with it. Um, you know, I didn't start getting people like coaches answering back until the season was far over. And um, it's just you have to be patient with it. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? At Caleb Curtin at, on Twitter and then Instagram, c.curtin. So. Thank you again, Caleb, for your interview and best of luck in the recruitment process. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at talk underscore Brandon, and you can find us on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Caleb, for your interview and best of luck in your future you've been watching brandon sports talk please feel free to like share and subscribe to brandon sports talk on social media and on youtube